the monk! Welcome to BlizzCon 2009! You guys rock! I give you World of Warcraft, Cataclysm! Goblins of Kazan have found new allies. He's gonna try to just get in there, he's not gonna do it. And that's gonna be it. You can see two drones here, there's no way really yep. to recover from this economically. Efforts! He's trying to run away, and you know, I think Remy's in a lot of trouble right here because that Blade Master is not gonna let him up. And GG, you guys, you have! Another champion, Lynn, has won the Global Finals for Warcraft 3. As we saw in the highlights, there was some elite tournament competition taking place this weekend. I'd like to take a moment now to congratulate each of our global tournament winners. For Warcraft 3, Lin from South Korea. For the StarCraft Invitational Effort from South Korea. And in this year's Global World of Warcraft Arena Championship, please help me congratulate Team TSG from the U.S. and Canada. In addition to proudly representing their countries during the finals, each of these winners is walking away with a check of $25,000. Let's give them a big round of applause for an incredible performance this weekend. Speaking of an incredible performance, our Diablo 3 players killed 3.2 million monsters in over 5,000 multiplayer games this weekend. Give them a hand. Well, as you know, BlizzCon is far from over. Tonight, we will all be hopping aboard the crazy train with the Prince of Darkness, the Blizzard of Oz, Ozzy Osbourne. But first, back for the fourth consecutive BlizzCon and fresh off a summer tour throughout Azeroth, we've got level 80 elite Torin Chieftain. From everyone at Blizzard, thank you all for making this an incredible BlizzCon and an unforgettable experience. Enjoy the rest of the show, and we look forward to seeing you online soon. And now, please welcome Level 80 Elite Torin Chieftain! Welcome to many of the band members here on BlizzCon Live. Direct TV HD, Mike Morheim will be on stage playing the bass, Samwise singing away, and there was some rumors, I think, Kat and Joe, that uh, they might change their name tonight. Were they hinting at that? Might go to level 85? 85? No, I, is it going to be 85 or is it something else? It has to do with a new level increase. A, a level increase or 80 for the plus. 
Level 80 plus. Plus. We're, we're just going to have to find we out. I guess it's all going to be revealed. Apparently again. they have quite the production with video and lights and all this stuff. They yeah. are either opening for Ozzy Osbourne or Ozzy Osbourne is closing for Level 80. Uh, <laughs> however you want to term it. I think but they're going to give Ozzy the respect and open for him this year. Except, that's right. Well, uh, we will see Level 80, a leap toward Chieftains here live on stage with a set. And then immediately after them, it's right to the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne, rocking out here at BlizzCon. The entire uh, stadium is filled with fans. Uh, there's even uh, fans in the standing room only for there this uh, concert at the end and of the I day. And I hope they are prepared for the massive sound that they are about to hear. We heard it last night, and it is incredible. You know, I heard someone was telling me that Ozzy hit 120 decibels. That is correct. It was inside measured of at that uh, stadium. So level 80, I heard, only got to one, uh, like 113. So I think they're going to have to amp it up here. Let's see if they can bring it. We will see if they can bring it. They're going to obviously, uh, they're, they're a band that's performed many times at BlizzCon, but they don't really do that many concerts throughout the year. I know last year BlizzCon may have even been their last performance, so these guys get, get, get together just a couple times a year. They do. They have the classics. This is their jam session. They have to do it every year. Hey, this is well, it, the fans expect it. This is what the fans <laughs> expect, so they'll go through all their great uh, songs. We see their logo is up there. It looks like it's almost time for Level 80. Uh, it still says Level 80. Still so says Level 80, Jeff. Happens. All right, well, let's go live into the stadium here as we get ready for Level 80 Elite Tour and Chieftains. Samwise will be out there rocking out with all their great songs that they have done over the years at BlizzCon. And again, uh, Mike Ozzy Warhead. Osbourne, Mike will be up there, exactly. Mike rocks it out. I'm looking forward to seeing him do his he, thing. He slaps, he knows how to slap in the banks, <laughs> as they like to say. He's a jack of all uh, trades. <laughs> all right, here we go with uh, Level 80 Elite Tour and Chieftains. <laughs> and then right after that, Ozzy Osbourne will be live here on DirecTV in high definition. And of course, for those of you watching the stream on the internet, remember you can get DirecTV for more great sports, entertainment, and technology programming. If you want to subscribe to DirecTV, you can go to directtv.com and learn more about the service that brings you BlizzCon every year in high definition, <laughs> live here on the internet and also on television. Well, guys, it's been a lot of fun here at BlizzCon 2009. A lot, a lot of great news. Uh, and, you know, every year the show seems to expand with more and more people here. And uh, it, it's still, it's, it's a great community. And there's still lines. I mean, even though the closing ceremonies are going on over here by us, there's still a line for Diablo 3. There is. There probably will be all night, at least until Ozzy's on. But it's sad to see it end. It it's a great way to end it. Yeah, the I, end is only the beginning for next year. 2010 is not that far away. <laughs> and all these games people will get to play. Obviously, the StarCraft 2 beta, as Mike announced here on the show, the beta will at least be starting by the end of this year. So everyone's excited to get to play the StarCraft 2 beta. And the right. game, as Paul Sands just mentioned in the closing ceremonies, will be coming out officially in 2010. And the fans have waited, uh, I guess it's going to be probably 12 years for StarCraft 2 when it finally comes out. Point. It's amazing how long it takes. Joe, did you get a chance to go over the StarCraft area? What was I it like actually over did everything about it. Um, I'm huge. Like I said, I'm a big R RPG player. So to get to play the single player campaign was amazing for me. Um, I really didn't want to leave the station, but they time you and they kick you out. So here's level 80. Let's go. <laughs> Ha! Ah. 